Hello everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm doing this video inside, of course, because it's still kind of stormy where I'm at on the coast. I, I mentioned when I first got to Newport, and it was like right before the storm, there was a guy sit, parked in his car out here. And then a couple days ago, there was a guy coming around giving him a ticket or, you know, notice saying he has to leave. And I talked to the guy. Well, that guy came back today for me, and it was he was really cool. I was completely honest with about you know being here, you know as long as I've been, and he explained the situation, and <clears throat> and I said I understood. The what happens is the rich folk that live up in the hill here. You know they pay a lot of money for their homes. They do. They pay a lot of property tax. This is Oregon, right? So they don't want to look out over their view and see poor people. Let's just face it. Let's just put it like that. And they smelt Robin Hood all over me, right? Or a poor person, whatever. I, I prefer Robin Hood. Knew I was trouble. You know how I feel about the rich. Get rid of that vagrant. Guy was really cool. He was like, this is how it is, you know. He was like, I'm going to write down that, you know, you were fatigued. I'm not even going to get into it because I want to get the guy in trouble. He was super cool. And he knew about the guy in the car, and apparently the guy has some mental issues. He said he kept repeating something over and over and over, and it's like, fuck, breaks your heart, man. He's back again. I went out to talk to him again, because I was like, I will move. He was so cool. This is how cool this guy was. He was so cool. I was thinking about moving somewhere else just to make him look good to the, to the rich folk up on the hill, right? But he was like, dude, I went out and talked to him. He's like, no, don't even worry about it. Just enjoy the view for tonight, okay? I'm like, cool. Because he goes, yeah, this is like a million dollar view. I'm like, yeah, I know. I was like, I appreciated it. But at the same time, I understand. I get it. Whatever. Got to move on. I mean, if I bought that home, I'd feel the same way. But I'd probably be down there feeding them. But there's a difference, right? Everybody has their own love and light and empathy levels. And we can all hope that. Someday the empathy touches the rich. We can only pray for them too. Anyway. But yeah, the gentleman was really cool. I don't know if I should mention his name because I don't want to get in trouble for being so cool. Because, you know, basically his job is to make sure, you know. But we both talked about Newport being a really cool town. And yeah, he, he gave me some suggestions there because I told him I was going in the morning and anyway. And, you know, so I wouldn't be here tomorrow. She was like, cool. Yeah, so, so yeah, my outlaw days are, are, you know, this is what it is, right? You outlaw camp, you're going to get kicked around a little bit. But the guy was very cool. He was very cool about it. I, you know, I'm not going to mention his name because he's too cool. Maybe later, but anyway. And I'm going to go to Newport, and I'm going to talk to city council, or I'm going to go talk to the, the, you know, go to city hall and talk to some people about that, you know, where I can camp and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. See what's cool with that. Other than that, that's it. Just thought that was interesting. I was like, I'll leave. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. Just hang out. You know, I gave you till tomorrow at 6. And it's like, there's a legal thing where he can say that, you know, he just saw me and I was tired. And, you know, that's why I'm not going to mention his name right now. Right? So he's doing me a solid. So anyway, this is life as, as the outlaw rogue on the run. I'm going to go do what I got to do when I got to do it and see what happens. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day, and yeah, keep on keeping on, right? Okay, bye.